Okay, um, now I'm just at the part here. I wanted to explain and show you what I was uh, talking to you about, when I, what I meant with um, your sticks when you're playing. I noticed when you were playing, when you hit your snare, you tend to leave it down, and that's not good. It's a lazy, it's very lazy, and uh, you know it's it's better. What I've learned, because uh, when I started playing drums, I started in a drum corps just for about a year, and then I stopped. That's the only uh, lessons I've ever gotten in drums. Um, but that's what they taught us when we play. <clears throat> I hope you can see this. You're supposed to play like this. It just returns. It stays in the air. Notice how my sticks are still hovering over the snare. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a better style. It's uh, You're always ready to play your next... Uh, uh, hit on another drum or whatever, you know, uh, but it's better for your wrists because the main thing is to be using your wrists at all times. Uh, how can I do this now? There. It's the best thing is to use your wrists. It's better playing. It's uh, smoother. Uh, you don't get tired, which is uh, really important if you're playing uh, at a gig. Um, so yeah, that's um, basically for your playing. The best thing is, you know, start off when you're practicing and doing exercises. Have your sticks like this, like in a V shape, and in the air, and then just do. You know. That will help you a lot. It's a better style. Um, You'll notice it in your playing. Sorry about moving this thing around so fast. Okie dokie. Um, let's just go over here. I want to show you the other thing I was talking about. Get some sticks here. Okay. Right now I'm using uh, 7As. Sometimes when I'm playing at home, but uh, usually when I play live, I play with uh, five A's because they're stronger sticks, and uh, you know they don't break as easy as these ones do. These break really, really easy. Seven A's, but they're cheap anyways. I just bought them just for the sake of having a lot of sticks. So it doesn't matter. I'm not really fussy over that. If I can get this thing, there we go. So I can stabilize the camera. Sorry about this, but you gotta do what you gotta do. There we go. And a little tilt. Alright. Okay, this is just a pillow on the chair. Uh, yeah. So you can like sit when you're watching TV or anything actually, just sitting there doing nothing, bored. Have a pair of sticks with you. Have a pillow on your lap and just play. Just do any exercises. You can do paradiddles. You know, any exercise you want. But the good thing about this, using a pillow, is that there's no uh, response. So, well, there is a bit with this one, but um, you don't have the same response as, you know, with a drum. So the stick doesn't come back, so you're forced to use your wrists. So this is a very good exercise actually and it works up your wrists and you'll notice it in your playing because you'll be able to play so much easier and so much more relaxed and smoother and you know it's really really a good exercise very good exercise just play on the pillow. Uh, oh and another thing a good thing for, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, for your wrists, there's some exercises, holding your sticks like this, take this down, hope you can see this, let me get my thing here, 
sorry. Okay. There. Please get your sticks like this. There we go. And do this. Fast as you can, as long as you can. Take a break, you know, whatever. Change hands. You know, just hold it like this. Whatever. And just do the same thing. Sorry about that. That's a good exercise. It's very good for your wrists and your arms. And another stretching exercise is holding your sticks like this and doing this. Just turning them inside like that and like this. So, and try to bring them up as high as possible then bring them back in and do it again. These are good warm-up exercises before you're playing. Um, so I hope I'm, I hope all this is helpful to you. Um, and oh, another thing that I found out I didn't even know myself. I only found out a few months ago. Uh, when you're doing your double bass, because usually our right foot is a lot, a lot stronger. Ouch. It's a lot stronger than uh, our left foot. What you can do is, I don't know, uh, put some weight or something on your uh, on your left foot, and uh, you know, just pretend you're playing playing your bass. Shut, shut the fuck up. Yeah, stay there. Anyways, I got all kinds of, uh, these are called Tuberleki and uh, Jamba, whatever, I don't know what they're fucking called. I don't really use them because I'm not really into Greek music or... Anyways, but put something on your left uh, leg and just play, pretend you're playing your bass. And uh, that'll help you a lot, it'll strengthen your ankle and, you know, you can exercise it a lot that way. And also that you'll see in your playing will be you'll be so much uh, will be so much easier for you. Anyways, I hope uh, this video is helpful to you. That's all I can think of right now, and we'll talk soon. Thank you.